Hey guys, the opening round, round zero of the AFL season kicks off tomorrow with the Sydney Swans taking on Melbourne and then Friday night, uh, the rematch of the prelim final from last season, the Brisbane Lions take on Carlton at the Gabba. In this video, I'm going to go through my best bet for both of those games and break down the reason why. And then I'm going to be posting another video tomorrow with my best bets for the both games on Saturday, Gold Coast Richmond and GWS and Collingwood. Uh, so we'll start with the Sydney Swans taking on Melbourne. Let's take a look at the historical betting trends for this matchup. So they've set the odds at a pick em, so so $1.90 either side for this matchup. Uh, the Swans on the handicap, they currently have them favorites, but it's uh, that minus one and a half is pushed out to $2. Interestingly, between these two sides, uh, the away team has covered eight of the past 10. So home field advantage, whether it be at the SCG or the MCG in Melbourne, hasn't really mattered whatsoever. Uh, with the away team winning seven of the past 10 and covering the line in eight of the past 10. Uh, Melbourne won both games last season. Fairly convincingly in round three at Mel in Melbourne, uh, they're a four and a half point favorite and won uh, by 50 points there. And then won by 19 at the SCG in round 24 as a three and a half point underdog. Firstly, looking at the handicap markets, you can see how over the past couple of seasons, this number slowly um, started to reduce more and more. Uh, majority of the games were at the MCG. But it's moved down from 22 to uh, 23 to 12 to minus four and a half. And then late last year at the SCG, the Swans were a three and a half point favorite. So that number's moved back slightly since then, obviously, with Melbourne winning that game. Now, looking at the total points. So last time they met, the total was 160 and a half. That's moved up slightly to 164 and a half. It did go under that game. That's what the red is referring to. And 10 of the past 13 matchups between these two sides have gone under the total points line. So they've generally been lower scoring than expected. But we have seen in previous seasons, if you check out the round one betting trends, that a lot of games in the opening round have been going over the totals. So personally, I'm just staying away uh, from that totals, uh, especially the fact these games have been going under the line and they have pushed it up to a slightly higher number. I feel like that's just a little bit strange. So looking at the head-to-head -head, last season, uh, Melbourne were the better side. They're a better attacking side in majority of categories they're number one inside 50 side so they matched up better than the swans in majority of these categories and they were significantly better defensively top one or two and basically top four in all categories where the swans are kind of mid-pack in the majority of defensive categories melbourne also the better team around the stoppages and clearances are really dominating sydney in those categories the swans were a bottom four side in a lot of those areas and Melbourne also the number one contested possession team. So they should get first use of the ball. Uh, Melbourne definitely just need to be a little bit more efficient going inside 50. Um, and that's the area that the Swans were stronger. Um, but defensively, they were fairly even, but slightly lean to the Demons. So the bet that I'm going with in this matchup is Melbourne to win at $1.96. That's at Neds and Ladbrokes. Uh, I also like... One other play in the game, but personally not backing it. And just because there's a little bit of risk involved in these kind of bets. But I do like um, the Swans fourth quarter uh, total points to be under 19 and a half. So you can get that for $2. Uh, I think that's with sports bet. Because uh, last season, Melbourne were the number one defense in the fourth quarter and the Swans were the second worst attack in the fourth quarter in relation to points scored. And that's another part of the reason why I'm going with the Demons, other than the fact that they match up a lot better and also um, they have won the past two between these two sides and we're getting them effectively as an underdog for this matchup. But I think, you know, if this game is close going into the second half and then especially into the fourth quarter, I think that's when Melbourne's going to come out on top and win this game confident that they'll win that last quarter. So taking the Demons to win in the opening game on Thursday night. Then the second matchup on Friday night of the season, the Brisbane Lions at home to Carlton. Obviously, Brisbane were undefeated at the Gabba last season. They ended Carlton's year in the prelim final. If we look at the results and betting trends for these matchups, 
Uh, Brisbane, they're $1.28 for this game, minus 22.5. So the bookies have moved that up from minus 14.5 was the line when Brisbane and Carlton met in that prelim final. Uh, Brisbane obviously covered that, winning the game by 16 points. Brisbane have won the past five head-to-head, won the past eight head-to-head at the Gabba. And also the Lions have covered eight of the past 10 head-to-head at the Gabba. So um, a really strong record there against Carlton. Uh, Also, six of the past eight head-to-head have gone over the total when these sides have met at the Gabba. Looking for the, at the total for this matchup, they've set it at 169 and a half, so one point lower than it was for the matchup last season at 170 and a half. Um, so pr- basically the same. Um, you'd expect this to be a high-scoring matchup with the conditions to suit um, both sides. Um, definitely strong attacking, especially Brisbane. But you also have to weigh in the fact that they're two basically top six defensive sides, so um, they are capable of stopping teams. Personally, I think the Lions are going to win this game. They're very, very hard to beat at the Gabba. But I do um, concede that there is a lot of motivation for Carlton to be winning this game. The fact they get this shot at the Lions after the way their season ended last year is a really good opportunity for them. Um, But I think just the Lions just hold a little bit too much firepower going forward and should be able to win this game. Um, I'm not going to take them at that minus 22 and a half. I think that's... uh, Far too high for the line for this game, especially how much has moved up from that minus 14 and a half last time. So just staying away from it from that perspective. But I think the Lions do win this game by that three-ish goal margin. So the bet that I'm going with for this matchup, I'm going to take, move me out of the way, uh, the Brisbane Lions to win straight out. In a same game multi with Josh Dunkley from the Lions to get 20 plus disposals. I hit this in 23 of 26 games last year, averaged 26.7 disposals per game and got 20 plus in both matchups versus Carlton. And then going to take Adam Scherer for 20 plus disposals. He hit this in 20 of 22 last year, averaged 25 and a half and got 33 and 20 in the two games against the Lions in 2023 so that pays $2.05 at Ned's or Ladbrokes and definitely with same game multis and all player prop markets you want to shop around because these are the markets where there's a lot of discrepancy across different betting companies like when I put this into a couple of different bookmakers kind of ranged from $1.50 up to $2.05 with just a major betting company so um, that is the second play. Obviously, the way that I bet is level staking all plays. So uh, for the opening two games, we're going with the Demons to win. And then uh, in the lions Carlton game, Brisbane, Adam Chera 20 plus and Josh Dunkley 20 plus. So those are the two plays for the opening round. I'm going to post another video previewing the following two matchups, Gold Coast versus Richmond and GWS and Collingwood. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications so you get the bets for that game or both those games straight away.